I'm Dina Futre Davis from Postprandial Toastmasters, and I'm here today with Mark Emblich, one of our winners. Mark, hi. Hi, Dina. You've been at Postprandial for over 20 years. During that time, you've won four district contests, a feat that is not really common to see. So, how did Postprandial help you achieve that? There's a lot of things about Toastmasters in general that are great, but Postprandial in particular, it's a special club. It's got a long history, it's got a large membership with people coming from a lot of different backgrounds, bringing different strengths. Some people are especially good at gave, giving historical speeches, others at humorous speeches, others at storytelling. And so you learn from each one of those people as you go through the program. And I know I learned a lot of lessons early on when I joined one of the first contests I entered, I remember reading my speech. I quickly learned you don't do that when you're in a contest. So these are the kinds of lessons you learn over time and you grow from each one. And that is one of the things that I've found about postprandial that really makes it stand out from the crowd. And you had already some theater experience and public speaking experience before joining Toastmasters. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Toastmasters journey in terms of how you improved your public speaking skills from that? The first public speaking experience I remember was from fourth grade. I had just been elected class representative for our student council. I had no idea what that meant, but they sent me to a meeting. I went, I came back, and my teacher said, okay, tell us about the meeting. And I stood there and I just stared blankly. After an uncomfortably long period of time, they finally had the alternate come up and she gave a very eloquent explanation of what had taken place at the meeting. I've come a long way since then and one of the things that helped me a lot was postprandial Toastmasters, but also the theater and the other things that I've done. I took a public speaking class in college also. So these things have all contributed to me becoming more comfortable in that setting, but in Toastmasters especially, it gives you that structure the opportunity to give different types of speeches, to compete in contests, to listen to others and then evaluate their speeches, to take on leadership roles. I've been a club officer several times as well. So all of these things have been impactful for me. What would you say to someone who's looking to improve their communication and leadership skills in the Rochester area? Well, I guess the obvious answer for me, based on the experience I've had, is to check out Toastmasters and specifically check out Postprandial Toastmasters. There are a lot of clubs in the Rochester area. I've had a chance to visit several of them. I've enjoyed each one, but I especially enjoy the professionalism that comes with Postprandial. One of the benefits that we have in our club is that our founding member is a past international president, uh, the late Pat Panfile. And Pat was very instrumental just in shaping that club over the decades that he was a member. And I think everyone who was fortunate enough to be there during the time that he was there learned a great deal about public speaking. Thank you. You're welcome.